So this is Coco Samoa. And it's made from the cocoa bean. And this is actually made through a traditional process uh, in Samoa. And this is the way they've been doing it for years and years. And this is a very popular drink in Samoa. And uh, people around the world are kind of discovering how awesome it is. And I guess it has a lot of really great health benefits as well. Um, but it's, it's this nice solid form which I thought would be great for packing and you know whatever the situation is if you're having to carry something then having it in this kind of nice tidy uh, little block like this I think will work good so I'm just gonna cut off a chunk of this and put it in my water so that uh, it can start cooking. And I guess a fourth of this will make about five cups. So I'm just going to kind of cut a chunk off of the end here. And that does seem to want to crumble, so I'm glad I'm catching it here. I'm thinking that should be enough you know and if it's not super strong for my first time that might be okay okay so let's go ahead and dump this into my water No, it's just starting to boil. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very rich. So this is just very, very dark chocolate. Um, but then I brought some milk and some sugar, so I should be able to make it a little bit more of the milk chocolate that I'm used to, because that's what I... I like milk chocolate, so... Okay, let's take a look at the Coco Samoa. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out now. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my squishy bowl here. Actually, I'm going to pour it back and forth. Because the silicone bowl was cold, it's going to really draw a lot of heat out of it. Which I don't really want to do. So we'll warm up the silicone. Then we'll pour us another cup. A little bit of milk. I'm actually going to put quite a bit of milk. And the little bit of icing that's on the end of my long-handled spoon will only be good, I think. I think I may have put a little too much milk. Let's taste it. Probably cooled it down plenty. Pretty interesting looking drink there. You can kind of see the ground up cocoa beans. Mm. but it's good. You know, it tastes chocolatey, and maybe I'm not getting the full experience because it's not a very strong taste. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little mixing here. 
Put a little in. Put a little back. Oh, I guess I was doing all that out of frame, or maybe some of it. Anyway, I just kind of uh, strengthened my drink a little bit. Mm. But it's very good. You know, it's a very mild flavor. It's not a real strong in-your-face kind of flavor. But it's, uh, it's pretty delicious. And I guess it's kind of like coffee, you know, the more you like it, the more you can just drink it by itself without any cream or sugar. Which I would certainly be willing to try a little stronger than what it is now. It's very good. Okay, so my cinnamon roll looks awesome. Let's see if I can tear off pieces. Mm, that looks good. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. You know, it really is a pretty similar experience to drinking coffee. You know, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a bitter flavor, but because I am a coffee drinker, I'm okay, I'm okay with it, it tastes really good. Yeah, I think I want to have it full strength. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump my cup right into my titanium pot. Whoops, I caught some in my cinnamon roll. It'll make it that much better. Cool. Well, I think I'm just going to hang out and, and kind of sip my Coco Samoa and uh, eat my cinnamon roll. Well, that's some good camp cooking right there. Come on, let's go. Well, Ash and I have been out for a little hike. I kind of set up the uh, Coco Samoa on the firebox with some hot coals under it. So I'm hoping it'll still be hot when I get back. But you can see how my little uh, outdoor kitchen is just really tucked into the sagebrush here. <laughs> you can't really even see it till you're right there. There it is. So here we are. And it looks like my Coco Samoa is still hot for sure let's check it out yeah so it's actually boiling oh that's perfect 